So these are five different suggestions already. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can do all these five, yeah, you know, that will be incredible of the time, will be so incredible, yeah. yeah. So what is the five? One is when you can, you know, do retreat like this, you know, in a, um, at home or in person, you know, as long as possible, that creating this energy container, energy spaciousness for yourself, yeah. Really focus on the deep change, yeah intensively, yeah, as we're doing, yeah. Then secondly is doing an ongoing practice at home, is creating that container for yourself. Then the third is cultivating ongoing awareness, you know, when we're feeling the challenges go into your body, noticing the contraction. By doing that, you're reducing damage. <laughs> then other activity, yeah such as take a walk, yeah. spend time in your room. Yeah. You know, one thing I do, I've been enjoying so much now, my kids is asking me to do it at times, I, you know, for whatever reason, it's like the weather is getting cold, but I, every morning I go out and spend a long time on the roof and just totally exposed to 360 degree view, yeah. And not only is like so spacious, so wonderful, you know, in terms of the view, you know, and, uh, and the energy, of course, it allow me, you know, not only do the practice, but I eat breakfast by myself then. I have my own cappuccino, whatever, <laughs> food, and then little table is set up, you know, in, in before I was like, oh my God, I wish she, my parents, you know, my kids join me, Ling Ling, my wife join me, that would be so wonderful, right? I tried many ways to inspire them, doesn't work. So now like, my made a decision, okay, if you guys don't do it, I'm going to do it just myself. <laughs> so turned out the best thing, because that way, I'm not concerned with other people, you know, how they're doing or not, you know. Then suddenly, total freedom, total spaciousness for myself. Mm. I mean, enjoy the breakfast more. I enjoy my practice more. I enjoy whatever the view more. And enjoy this, like, the new way of awakening myself in the morning. And then the kids get used to it. They're asking me, Daddy, I go up. I, are you going up? Are you going up? <laughs> Sometimes, like the weather is cold, like last few days, I haven't gone. Lotus keep asking me, are you going up? <laughs> you know? <laughs> so, if you determined to create such spaciousness, such a you know, uh, container, such a kind of new activity in the beginning for you, then naturally, actually, the kids will support you. Your family will support you. It's not a selfish activity, my dear. You will recognize that, yeah. Eventually, your spouse say, hey, go there to your practice. <laughs> <laughs> Don't argue in front of me. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that's a good validation, I think. Uh, um, a lot of practitioners start experiencing that. It's like, yeah, the, the, the spouse, you know, kids, you know, even parents become more supportive. What are you doing? Because they're noticing the, the benefit. They're noticing the change in you and naturally benefiting them. You know, everything is a relationship. When one person is more relaxed, next person can relax. But if we're expecting you relax first, then I will relax, then it will never happen. <laughs> <laughs> Very true. Yeah. So whichever way, yeah, if we can start in with ourselves, then we're initiating the benefit, initiating the change. Yeah. I think, you know, really, as I said this morning, small thing accumulatively make a big change. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So again, thank you for um, asking the question and uh, feel inspired to say more about it. And uh, I 
just a body can relate to that. <laughs> so, uh, oh, that's beautiful. Life. Thank you. So welcome. So welcome. Hello. So it's really interesting is, you know, I was thinking about during the walk, you know, what I like to share, but then the question came from you, like just uh, <laughs> seems like perfectly aligned, you know, 